Good afternoon, East Texas. This is your TylerPaper.com afternoon news update for Friday, May 3rd. Well, a big gain in the job market was lifting the stock market to a record high today. The Associated Press reported that the Dow Jones Industrial Average crossed 15,000 for the first time early today, and the Standard & Poor's 500 Index, a broader market measure, rose above 1,600. Now, the U.S. government said U.S. employers added 165,000 jobs in April, more than economists were expecting. It also said more jobs were created in February and March than it had estimated earlier. Now, the unemployment rate also fell to 7.5 percent, the lowest in four years from 7.6 percent the month before. Now, when the jobs numbers were announced at 8.30 a.m. Eastern daily, Daylight Time, the price of crude oil rose sharply as traders anticipated a pickup in the economy. Now, in other news today, Nearly $300,000 has been donated so far to a fund for residents of a central Texas town decimated by a fertilizer plant explosion. The AP reports that the West City Council this week approved the nonprofit public charity as the recommended recipient for donations since the April 17th disaster. Now, town leaders Thursday updated how much has been received and thanked everyone for supporting recovery efforts. Authorities continue to work to determine what led to the accident that killed 14 people and left about 200 hurt in West, which is about 70 miles south of Fort Worth. Now, contributions to the West Disaster Relief Efforts Fund may be designated for general assistance, firefighter relief, or for victims. Town leaders say general assistance contributions are strongly encouraged because so many needs don't fit a designated category. In addition, federal low-interest loans are all available for people in several counties affected by that explosion. The Small Business Administration funds are for residents of McLennan County plus six other neighboring counties. Now, SBA officials on Thursday announced the long-term loans in response to a request from Governor Rick Perry. Now, disaster loans up to $200,000 are available to repair or replace damaged or destroyed real estate. Homeowners and renters are eligible for up to $40,000 to repair or replace personal property, and businesses may borrow up to $2 million to repair or replace real estate, machinery, and equipment, inventory, and other assets. And also today, a solar-powered airplane has taken off from Northern California on the first leg of a journey to several U.S. cities. The AP reports that the Solar Impulse left Moffett Field in Mountain View just after dawn. Now, it plans to stop at Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix, Dallas-Fort Worth Airport in Texas, Lambert-St. Louis Airport, Dulles Airport in the Washington area, and New York's JFK Airport. Now, each flight leg will take 20 to 25 hours with 10-day stops in each city. The plane is powered by about 12,000 photovoltaic cells that cover massive wings and charge its batteries, allowing it to fly day and night without jet fuel. But its low weight makes it vulnerable to bad weather. Its creators say solar planes will never replace fuel-powered commercial flights, but the goal is to showcase the potential of solar power, and the plane has already wowed aviation fans in Europe. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to check back to TylerPaper.com for breaking news updates throughout the day.